Ow! No! <sighs> Hello. This is my voice. Thanks for watching. Anyways, I can't believe that we actually did it. Thank you all so much for 5,000 subscribers. I never would have thought that I could have made this far. Truly. All of you who subscribed are super special to me because all 5,000 of you have supported my content, watched my videos, and contributed to me reaching this milestone. I think I have mentioned before that I wanted my next sub goal to be 5,000 subscribers. At first, uh, I thought I should just make a Q&A for the occasion, but then I realized that would be too repetitive. I also had an idea to make an FE2 tier list video for 5,000 subscribers. thought it would be cool. Uh, I could recap all of the maps, uh, but I felt like that would be too unoriginal since also did the exact same thing. And also, I haven't been into FE2 lately, so I probably wouldn't have wanted to do that idea anyways. I also thought maybe I could showcase my Tower Crater Tower for 5k subs, but that isn't finished yet, and it isn't likely to be finished anytime soon. So I settled for a voice review, since a lot of you wanted me to do one, and using voice also opens up a lot of video ideas, uh, if I ever decide to go with those. I don't really like talking much though, since I'm pretty insecure about my voice, so don't be surprised if this is the only video where you hear me talk. Okay, now on to the real purpose of this video. I wanted to talk about some stuff that's been on my mind and give you all an, an update on what's been going on with me. First, I'm going to address the elephant in the room here. And I know what you all, uh, all of you are thinking. Flex, when are you coming back to FE2? And if, unfortunately, I don't think I am. There's several factors that go into this. Obviously, there's been a huge drought in updates, not just ever since Fallen Revamp was made. The last update before that was almost eight months ago. And before said update drought, the updates weren't even good in the first place, and most of the new maps are quite forgettable, if I were being honest. One of the main reasons though is that is because I'm almost 17 now, so I'll be done with high school in another year. Uh, and I have been planning to quit Roblox by the time I get to university. So I wanna focus the remaining time I have left uh, on Tower Creator and JTO since there's a lot of areas I have yet to unlock. And I've played through most of the community maps already. Another reason I'm planning on quitting is because by the time senior year is over, my school account will get disabled. And I think I've mentioned in the Q&A vid somewhere that I edit my videos on my school account, so I will lose access to all of my editing clips when my school account gets disabled. Uh, I could switch editors, but uh, I'm quitting Roblox anyway by the time I get to university, So, and I won't be able to get those clips back either since they're all saved in my video account. Another reason I don't see myself coming back to FE2 is, well, the community kind of tore itself up, and more specifically, Crazy Blocks tore it up. And I'm mostly referring to the drama between Crazy Blocks and the Tria group, which resulted in the creation of Tria.OS. And you might be wondering why I haven't bothered to try Tria.OS. Well, mostly it's because it's just it just isn't the same as the main FE2 or the community maps, because literally all of the maps look like modernized hell. And I feel like uh, the game lost its classic Flood Escape-like feel to it that was prevalent in FE2 community maps, such as maps like Omitted Temple, Annihilated Academy, Flashbacks, Sunset Temple, you get the point. And nothing personal to Enzo, uh, all of all of those Tria.OS maps look like a masterpiece. Like I have no idea how Enzo created something like Monovoid or Layers or maps like those, but it could be just me, but I kind of miss and enjoy the classic style maps more, such as Flashbacks, Time Machine, 
dystopia, digitalized focus was pretty cool too. But ever since the grand finale, every Enzo map after that just looked overcomplicated and confusing. Like memorization based gameplay that I really didn't find fun. And as a result, a lot of map creators just left FE2 for Tree.OS or just stopped making maps. And there really isn't any fun maps left in community maps anymore that I want to do. To put it in short, the game dried out for me. Obviously, I won't forget the years of fun I've had in it, but I think it's time for me to move on to different games like JTO. But maybe I'll return to FE2 one day. Who knows? I'll probably still post uh, update videos on FE2. If it updates, of course. Alright, let's address the next big thing that I want to get off my chest. Flex, why haven't you been active? It's literally summer break. You should have more time now. That one's a bit more complicated because I haven't really told anyone outside of a few people in my Discord server, and it might clear up a lot of things. First, there's the fact that I have been in summer camp for two weeks. You guys should notice. I couldn't make videos during that time because I was spending the majority of my time there doing very fun camp activities while having the best experiences of my life, which I felt were a very worthy time investment for my summer break. You serious? Also, I was on vacation for another week after that too. Also about my plans to make a TODC fail compilation. the biggest reason for my inactivity I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and a sub. And thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, how did this doc get four pages long? <laughs>